what we are seeing is that they are not talking anymore about what happened. They are not talking about the trauma that happened in the past. We're not hearing anymore the situation of the typical flashback of remembering the, the traumatic event. They are talking to us about their present living conditions and their present situation that is affecting them, that is causing them stress, that is causing them anxiety, causing depressive-like symptoms. With the COVID lockdown and the COVID restrictions, sometimes is there is a week or two weeks that they will not be able to come at all. So you try to plan from before, but of course the problem is that if you're not able to come before to manage to get the medication, if you're not in the camp that you have the volunteers that can help you with the follow-ups, it happens that they interrupt the medication. The services available here in the camp are primary health camp centers, secondary health centers. The secondary health centers are much fewer and very few of them have surgical capacities. So in order to cope with or to deal with uh, complicated cases that we cannot treat here, we opt for referrals for either private or government hospital. The closest one is about two hours drive. The most advanced one is about seven hours drive from here. The main desire that we hear is when are we going to go back to Myanmar? I'm tired of this, I want to go home. I don't want to keep adapting to this situation. I, I just want to go. That's not in their power either, because they want to go back, but of course, if all appropriate rights and safety are guaranteed. So until that is not guaranteed, they will not do it. And it doesn't depend on them either.